we are at a critical point in the history of our profession. And there is a great division within our profession. In matter of conscience, the law of the majority has no place. In matter of conscience, the law of the majority has no place. Historically, we know that. That it was always a minority listening to the calling of their inner heart, listening to the principle that emerged deep in the cave of the heart, that brought forth the principle of life, of justice, of love, of equal rights, of civil rights, of equality. It wasn't the case. The culture, the mindsets of cultures in different countries of the world was led by the majority against the emergence of those principles. Christ grew up in a society that was an eye for an eye. That was the dominant belief system of society. That was what the law of the land spoke at the time. And he brought forth the principle of love. Mandela grew up with the law of the land, the law of the majority, was apartheid. And from his jail cell, he created a morphic field of consciousness that had such a radiance and a power that he transformed a country. His own jailers became his friends, amazed by the presence of that being, amazed by his vision. And when he was freed, he became the president of that country. In matter of conscience, the law of the majority has no place. <laughs>